Hello and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Fire TV. I'm your host Jez and this is episode 106. So on this week's Whiskey Wednesday I have a bottle of Bakers. I'm very excited to do this because this is the new Bakers as you guys saw with the Whiskey Wednesday hype post. Don't drop the glass. It's very hot. I turned the fan off so you guys could hear me and I'm like dying so I might start sweating halfway through let's hope not I just do a quick bottle pop and then I'll break into the information don't punch myself in the face again I uh this cork is very nipply the so them changing from the do I have it nearby I do so if you guys aren't familiar with the old bakers compared to the new bakers this is the change you guys are probably looking at it going eh they just changed the bottle that's what I thought but if you look at the fine print the bakers being a uh, small batch with the seven year age statement on it as well I didn't realize not like I looked um and then the single barrel being single barrel so that's the only difference uh whether it's part of the small batch collection anymore I don't believe so It'd have to be just out there on its own. Before I pour. You guys can see it. Thick. I like it. It's good pour too. Very happy. Let that kind of aerate. That'd be tasty at 107. So, as I said, Baker's single barrel. This is the 2019 changeover just in case you guys are wondering, in case you're trying to backdate it. Uh, as I said, 107 proof or 53.5% ABV. Uh, this was seven years and eight months old. I think I might've paid 110, probably less. It was probably close to like the $100 mark. Uh, where did I pick it up from? I couldn't tell you because I don't remember. Um, but yeah, they hit around 110, sub 100 if you're lucky in the US, uh, anywhere between 60 to 64, 64 on average, uh, before tax and everything else in your home state. Not like Australia, we just pay 10% across. It's good. Uh, cask is new child American oak, as per usual, and the mash bill is 77% corn, 13% rye, and 10% malted barley. Hopefully those numbers work out, because I didn't calculate it. I think it's about right. So let me just break into the uh, little bit of history about it and then we'll, we'll kind of hook in. So as I said, introducing the new beam, oh, Booker's, Baker's, Jesus, Baker's <laughs> single barrel, uh, but it's three years too late because it's been out since 2019. Originally being small batch from a blend of roughly 200 or so barrels, then transitioning into a single barrel offering back in 2019. In the new offerings, they do carry the seven year age statement, but that's pretty standard with the uh, old stuff, but they kind of go upwards from there. So I've seen barrels that hit like eight and a half years, but they're at least seven years. Like this is seven years, eight months. But it also has that uh, juicy 107 proof that everyone enjoys. The In the new single barrel offerings as well, there's something I found really cool. Uh, you guys may or may not find it cool, but you know, it's always, it's always fun to know. I was playing around through the serial number on this bottle here. If you guys want to do it, I'll kind of just hold it up nice and close to the screen. Uh, There you go. Hopefully that kind of focused in for you guys because Siri started working. Um, if not, I'll read it out. It's probably easier if I read it out. So it's triple zero, double two, four three nine six. So they use RFID technology, which is radio frequency identification data. I knew that, but I just wrote it down so I didn't forget it. Uh, they track the barrel um, as it moves around the warehouse so they can get different stats about it. And here are my barrel stats. So, it was aged in the Claremont campus. 
uh, warehouse CL5, which I assume is Claremont. Uh, warehouse 5, floor 6, rack 14, or rack 14, one of the two, depends where you live. It was filled 12th of, no, February 2012. The hottest temperature it experienced was 103 degrees Fahrenheit or 39.44 degrees Celsius. On the flip side, the coldest it got was minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit which is minus 18.9 degrees Celsius. Is that right? I don't think that's right. Meh, I don't know. It's Alexa's math, not mine. Uh, it was dumped in October 2019. So, yeah, I was just like, what? They put all that data in there for you. Uh, they've got like a nice little interactive thing where you just kind of scroll through and it takes you through everything. It's super fun. If you guys have a minute, do it with this single barrel or just go pick up one yourself and do it there. But we'll kind of hook in now. So on the nose, it's very uh, sweet. It's kind of uh, obviously 77% corn, so it's going to be heavily corn focused. There's some alcohol there, but I'm just move that out of the way. You guys aren't listening to that. One. Listening? This bottle's not saying anything. This glass is talking to me though. So yeah, very alcohol forward, obviously being 53.5%, so. And it's got these um, stewed fruits kind of notes, so it's very fruit forward, very sweet, somewhat approachable, unless you don't like the, uh, the high proof there. And then, you know, I wouldn't, uh, not like I wouldn't recommend it, but uh, I wouldn't say, hey, this this is something you should pick up if you don't like that heavy proof. Uh, face is itchy. <gasps> um, something also I didn't cover as well. These, this is new. This is the, what I'll call the Blanton's effect to Jim Beam. So where they come out with four uh, collectible uh, corks, essentially. Uh, for you to, I guess, collect, have, hold, do whatever you want with the same thing with the, the Blanton's ones. Here's one I prepared earlier. So, I don't know, it's the Beam Bottle Cap Collection. Who knows? We're at almost eight minutes and I haven't had a sip, so it's crazy. Uh, there's a little bit of nuttiness there, but more of like a, not a walnut. What is that? Nothing crazy, like just like a little bit of nuttiness, but it's not your typical bean peanut, which is interesting. Uh, for the taste, mm. So it's got a thick viscosity there uh, with like a heat just working on the side of the tongue there. Nothing else really going on. Still got that sweetness that kind of carries through there as well. And uh, for the finish, A long finish of like these toasted oaks, some sugars. Now, once again, very sweet, kind of like a cold apple pie kind of vibe. Some cinnamon there. A little bit of a Kentucky hug as well. It's always nice. It's always refreshing. Um, but yeah, on oh, some something I wrote down, but I'm not really getting it. some um, like drying tannic notes a little bit a little bit so just at the back of the tongue there it's kind of like drying drying out the palate it's always nice very cylinder eagle rare if you guys are familiar all in all not too bad 
Now, let's break it down to the bivalve pass. So, uh, my first one was, it's very fruit forward nose. So heavy corn, some, I don't even know if I broke it down into fruits, but I've got originally written down like cherry, peach, very fruit forward, kind of stewed fruits, a lot of that going on. Uh, next time around, we got the second one being no bean nuts there. So a little bit of nuttiness, but not that typical peanut, um, like crunchy peanut butter kind of vibe. None of that. It's always good, especially if you don't like it. Like if that's one of the things that kind of turns you off buying bean products, there's none of that. I don't get it. And third, uh, this long oaky finish, a lot of tannic drying notes, as I said, similar to the Eagle Rare. So if you want something that's kind of like Eagle Rare, because I know how hard it is for you guys to find Eagle Rare, but the problem is it is double the price of Eagle Rare. I think it's, no, sorry, what's Eagle Rare over there? That's 45, 50 bucks a bottle. Um, But then you're paying more for it on secondary anyway. So Look, I'm going to say this is a buy. Um, if you like sweet stuff, definitely go for it. If the alcohol is kind of putting you guys off, maybe drop like a little bit of water in there just to kind of break it up, break up those vapors. But yeah, other than that, I'm going to round this out at the 12 minute mark. Oh, no, we're a little bit under, but that's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I try to keep it as uh, smooth and fast as possible, I guess just to not take up too much of your time because it is Whiskey Wednesday and you should be spending more time drinking, less time watching this. So thank you, love y'all, enjoy your Whiskey Wednesday. Please let me know if A, you use that serial number to check out your own, or oh, this barrel, because there's plenty of data there, or throw in your serial number and please let me know what you guys got. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Thank you, love y'all, stay thirsty, peace.